welcome to the post lunch session and hope you enjoyed your lunch. Thank you so much for joining and uh, we would like to proceed with the next speaker. Are the people outside? Should we start, sir? Yes. Yes, we are joining, but we should start right now. The next speaker, ladies and gentlemen, is Mr. Deepak Vivani. Mr. Deepak Vivani is the head of Central Workforce Management Group, Business Cycle Group, and he comes with an extensive work exposure in the areas of workforce management strategy, planning, delivery, consulting, and transition, customer experience, AI, and analytics. He is keen on exploring insights from the behavioral and evolutionary science and applying them to the business solutions that drive transformation and ensure adoption. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Mr. Deepa Vivani. So, uh, and I don't know if you guys are going to speak about something that you probably won't know, and I'm a little interactive, so that we get to speak it first. Uh, I am Deepak Vivani, uh, just to just mention my practical and non-production. Okay, so let me ask you guys, what is your name? How many of you know what is work for the future? We've been hearing this term, we've been hearing a lot of big terms since, since morning. So, okay, what is work for the future? It's a hard one. Uh, a heart that is a brain. Uh, so, what is, what do you know about machine learning? What is it? Is it a learning model? What is it? So, this morning, I would have heard machine learning about 29, 25 times. What is machine learning? Anyone else wants to go and tell us what is machine learning? Okay, I'll begin with uh, where I come from. So this is Sadio Gupta, who is over there. Uh, I'm not going to repeat the numbers. I know we all had good last year, still relaxing. So the numbers are up there. Sadio uh, is one of the largest customer services company in the world. Uh, they are the third largest PPM in the world. And uh, what they do is we combine global strength and scale with the very entrepreneurial approach of our founder, I'll move to the next slide and I'll, I'll make it quick interactive pretty soon so that you guys uh, you me on the Global Realms, we are in America, Europe, Africa, APAC. Uh, these are the countries that we have to serve our clients of the This is our brand statement. We create connection, uh, value, and conversation. Plus 600 hours of activity from Max insiders across the globe. And I'm going to talk about what Max is in the next slide. So, we heard since morning what is WFN, WFN School. So, I'll quickly tell you, uh, I started my workforce journey more than two decades ago. I was called by the associates a man who decide what their legs are. And we evolved to a level where now they call me a man who would give them an opportunity to decide what the things would do. So that has been the journey of the workforce management in the past two decades. So initially the classic thing was just MIS reports. That was called the move from resource planning. Now I tell you what resource planning is. How many people do we need to do a particular volume based or hours based business? So I'm going to tell you exactly what workforce is. This morning we've heard a lot about workforce. And in this group, I only had one person who would answer what is workforce. Anyone else wants to try now? You already have it on the board. What is workforce planning? No takers? So we do resource planning to decide how many people we need to accomplish a task. What is forecasting? Anyone wants to take a guess? What is forecasting? It is what? You are correct. Forecasting, planning is actually the uh, prediction as you mentioned. Forecasting is to tell what is the number of calls. So say for example you get a call for a thousand. So what are more would know how many people are calling. Basis that they will stop people. 
basically what we do is we ensure that the workforce, wherever it is, you know, be it remote, hybrid, digital, whatever, we ensure that the productivity increases by helping them manage it effectively. When I say manage it effectively, the person who's managing it, he knows at any given point in time how much work is there in the ecosystem, uh, are the SLAs being met, and stuff like that. So, yeah. Again, you're absolutely right. So, uh, workforce management is nothing but an execution process that would improve the performance and the competencies of many organizations. Right? So, uh, I had tried to get the uh, centralized workforce management. When I say centralized, all the disciplines of workforce management, starting from forecasting, planning, which would be resource planning, all the capacity planning. MIS analytics, scheduling, real time monitoring. I've said seven or eight terms. The combination of this and how many? You can book a session for three days for me, which will work for some time. I don't know if you will have to do that. I also offer consulting as a WFM as a service, as an advisory practice. How your organizations can improve efficiency. Optimization and, of course, bring in more USM or GDP, whatever it is. So, uh, I'll give you a brief on how we function as a centralized workforce management team. We serve about 17 countries. I have, have about 300 people in my team who do this here and out. This is what we are. We serve 17 countries, as I said. And uh, we take a lot of pride in the way we do that. We train the so what we also do is, so there are people in operations, right? We all know. So the career path for them is also to move to various levels in the workforce management team and we train them for that. Now I'm open to questions now. Uh, so so this is this is very clear that we needed to know what is machine learning. And probably this half the group post the other half we will that later if I get a chance to. Now what is artificial intelligence? Nobody is speaking there. <laughs> May I represent the crowd? Yes, please. Okay. All right. So, uh, artificial intelligence, in a way, uh, and a lot of times you, you hear ML and AI being used together. Uh, so, I would say uh, AI would be like a derivative or you know, kind of a complementary to ML because once the ML is being fed. Are you from workforce management? Yeah, I don't, right? I'm, I'm, I'm present in it. You know what? I'm telling you all the answers. So, uh, so yeah, so typically, uh, as I said, that's complementary to uh, uh, ML because once the data sets are being fed to the system, uh, the software or you know, the the, uh, the, uh, the product becomes intelligent enough to answer, and that's where you know artificial intelligence comes into play. The third time right now, who knows that machine learning is nothing but artificial intelligence only being used for the purpose of 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 the Intelligence, there is nothing artificial. Okay? You still need a human intervention. Right? That human intervention has to be different to make it work. So I think I will stop there and uh, I will ask you, urge you to ask me questions. Do you face any problems in your organization related to staffing, efficiencies, optimization? Ask me questions. I can answer them. I can answer them now and I can pick up the subject. Yeah, you yeah. Uh, so, you know, one of the biggest challenges that we are facing right now. Yeah. Uh, tell me what company you are from. Hi, uh, my name is Nisha. I uh, am uh, representing Neo Kinetic Services. So we uh, generally, or what we outsource is, uh, you know, the inside, entire inside sales process for the company. Okay. So a lot of our staff, or uh, you know. All the executives are sales executives or inside sales executives. Now, what is happening with the funding startup process is that we have a lot of overpaid uh, resources without uh, the skills that is necessary for you know doing the day to day job. How do we solve that using this? One, we have to step back and see how did that happen in the first place, right? And is that a process that it doesn't happen again? Because mm -hmm. we'll, we'll keep following the that which you need to do some skill mapping. Right? You need to do some intelligent forecasting in terms of how many people will you need for the task. So, so the question is, do I have enough people? Second, 
if I have excess of people, how many are actually the ones that I need? So you have to do a skill mapping, which will be outside of the workforce for you. Yeah. But you have to do an intelligent forecasting in terms of what your needs are, and you know, what you have to do. That is one. If you have more problems, you can connect with them outside of the workforce. So we had two uh, people talking post lunch. I want to have more people ask questions. So everyone knows now what machine learning is, what artificial intelligence is. So, so now, now I'm, I'm glad that people are now aware that machine learning is not a machine. Okay. Okay. A hard stop there. I think we are already over time. So no more questions for me. I'm happy to connect outside of uh, my session, and, and we can take it from there. Okay. Thank you, guys. May I please request uh, Mr. Rinu sir. Rinu sir, are you now? <laughs> so please, I request you to present the memento to Mr. Deepak Gribani.